All right, Leo, thank you for being here. It's Elle. I'm here to do your weekly reading. Thank you again. Get two thanks in one sentence. All right, let's get into it. Um, thank you, God, for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. Some of you could work at a big corporation. You have a boss who's sympathetic, empathetic, you know, is um, nice, you know, uh, knows how to lead, deal with different personalities, maybe knows how to encourage also. Um, you could be learning a lot from this person or you could be learning a lot from maybe your counterpart, King of Cups, whomever this is. You're learning a lot from someone. Something is over, done, some negative vibration, energy in a connection, a relationship is over. Um, maybe you and this person are now on the same wavelength, like-minded individuals. These two cards wanted to come out. Um, yeah, maybe somebody is going to be more loving to you. What you don't see on the other side of this is complete progression, uh, completely getting what you want, uh, you know, prosperity, moving forward. Um, immense uh, 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 success here, big success, a big win. Let's see, yeah, seven of swords. Someone's keeping this from you. This was like hiding a proposal, Leo, or hiding something from you. Um, they don't want you to know. Ooh, hold on, wait. What they hiding with the devil and the seven of swords? Okay, it could be that they hiding some sex only relationship. Yeah, but they could have ghosted this. Yeah, they left it alone. They're, they're trying not to be tempted away. By, but I heard um, this could even be, you know, online or looking at nudies online or looking at, um, you know, pornography or something of that sort. Yeah, they they had that. This had them bound, but now they don't want to be bound to this anymore. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles. Um, they know that they need to leave this alone. Okay, they need to move on. Um, you may have an offer the lovers and the six of swords you may, you may go hang out with friends you may meet somebody new you may make sense of moving on I don't know if you find out something you know, end into a relationship you're tired of waiting on somebody who's not giving you what you want someone's treating you you know childish or childlike not seeing your worth what you bring to the table you've given ultimatum if they don't change you're out you're leaving you're tired of acting happy and not and being strung along with the ten of pentacles yeah somebody could be hiding that they had a sex only relationship it could come out you're upset about it okay um yeah you're extremely ups upset about it and uh what else is happening here you may have given this person an ultimatum in regards to what are we doing how's the relationship progressing are we moving forward if we're not then i'm out um let's see somebody's definitely having a secret relationship or they're looking at you know sexual activity online or you know the sexual activity could have stopped within the relationship let's see yeah, bad decisions. Like somebody made a bad decision. Um, yeah, someone saying I'm physically not attracted to my partner. Sex could have stopped. And someone asked why. And it could be that there's someone else. I don't value shit, period. Somebody's not valuing. They don't see your value, your worth. Infertility issues. Somebody's like, we can't make this grow. I don't want to make it grow. Super independent lady, girl, boss. Somebody's very bossy um independent um mouthy is what i heard cannot maintain a relationship somebody can't maintain a relationship therefore somebody went to somebody else's arms they love lying in someone else's arms um whoever this is they currently are being used and they know it so if if your person is dealing with somebody else then they already know that they're being used by this person but they don't even care they're just like i'm in love with my friend or, you know, or if they found a friend in their lover, their new lover. So make it be undeserving of real love. They just don't deserve it. They don't care to have it. Yeah, somebody goes away on the weekend and they hook up or they do something on the weekend or it's, um, you know, like a it's just for, you know, a short period. Can't get over you. Um, 
so I can't get over you you can't get over them hook up on a weekend came out again or weekend getaway hook up on a somebody's definitely doing something like I'm like they could be saying they're traveling for work they could be lovesick over this person I don't know somebody also could be leaving the wife or the husband at home this person is lovesick you know they um they know that they're out with somebody else so they can kind of pick up on it they could pick up on the fact that this person is um, lying about their whereabouts or where they really want to be and somebody's dealing with a prostitute somebody is like i made you fall in love with me because it was fun sorry someone's not taking this relationship serious and we did have you know i don't value shit period somebody's been sexually abused therefore they might be promiscuous somebody is a druggie or they need help they drink or smoke or whatever they like to get into fights yeah somebody got caught cheating you know hanging out and being on a romantic date somebody has unruly ass children and somebody's just like you know i'm closed off to love right now um especially with you or with my partner because i'm not attracted to my partner so this could be you leo it could be your partner um this is what i have for you if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website and book your own reading there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy a coffee link catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time thank you many blessings to you take care